Hello everybody, so Calthero here, welcome back to another video of Ready or Not. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new 1.0, I believe is what they're calling it, update for the game. This game does a lot of improving in it. Um, there is a great quality of improvement for the single player part of this game. There's a campaign now. There is a lot of extra detail. Um, I can completely understand why this game hasn't seen an update in over a year from the devs because you could tell they were working hard to make this one of the best updates ever. And uh, I'm going to take you guys along with me here to show you. So we're going to start a new game here. There's a few different modes. There's a mode called Commander Mode, which I'm not going to do, where basically when you die, you lose your save. And I do not want to do that. I don't want to have to throw my mouse out of rage of losing my save game. So. Even though it says commander mode, I'm not really playing commander mode, but it says attention commander. You are about to embark on a grueling journey through the streets of Los Sueños where death could lurk around any corner. There will be no restarts or second chances once you enter a mission. So bring your a game. Your team's lives are in your capable hands and any losses are permanent. Basically, your officers have a moral compass. If they go on a mission and they have to kill people, it obviously it impacts them mentally and emotionally where they have to kind of take a rest day, kind of get some help to regain their thoughts. Also, if you lose an officer, you permanently lose that officer. You do not get that officer back. They are gone from your campaign. So definitely things you got to worry about. Uh, to continue, should you want to cut your losses at any point during a mission, gather your remaining team and return to your initial entry point in order to exfiltrate. Beware while this will preserve your officers lives, it may have had or it may have a detrimental effect on their mental state. So again, they could on their mental state, it can get them so wild up that they may quit or everybody says even worse, which I don't want to say the word, but I'm thinking that it starts to take its toll on them emotionally and they result into some pretty drastic actions, basically, uh, against themselves. And saying that, I'm pretty sure you can get the gist of what I'm thinking they're going to have the officer do if you stress them out too much. As your team gains experience through successful missions, their traits will become available to them, giving you further options on how to assemble your ideal entry team. Are you ready, Commander? I'm ready. So as you can see right away, the police station has improved quite a bit. It awesome. looks night and day different from the original game when this game was uh, in early access still. Uh, they do have a tab here where you can look at your officers. Oh, there we go. So you can see all the different officers that I have on my team currently. Uh, their equipment they're using, as well as uh, some other officers that I have that are uh, basically reserves in case somebody needs to take a rest day. You also can hire new officers as well, which I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, their special qualification says kicker. You and your team can reliably kick down doors with just one kick. Okay, pacifier. Increase the likelihood of a suspect surrendering. When hit by less lethal munitions, armor improves both. I can't see with this thing in my face. There we go. Improves both your, arm, your own as well as your team's armor. So those are the officers i can hire so right now the ones i have is a breacher another breacher negotiator increases the likelihood for suspects to immediately surrender upon compliance yells from you and your team that's definitely something i would like to have so there's less loss of life here uh, we got another armorer here we got a kicker and a veteran increases the overall accuracy of your team all right cool so that's the team that i have this is the briefing room where you start your mission, so we'll definitely be going that way here pretty soon. I just wanted to take you guys over here to the shooting range, and since it's a new setup here, I don't think, yeah, pretty sure I don't have my weapon of choice. So you have a, a different, a uh, few weapons you can choose from here. I am a fan of the G36, so I'm going to pick that unless there's an AUG in here. Let me see. Now, so you got a less, uh, less than lethal assault rifle here. Uh, you actually have two, it looks like, that uh, fire pepper balls, but I'm going to go with the G36 on this one. And then you can do, like before, you could do customization here. So I'm going to do a red dot sight. I like to use a suppressor just in case. Uh, we'll do an angle gripped 
for accuracy and then I like to have a flashlight just in case I don't want to use my night vision a uh, sidearm uh, I always like to go with uh, what is it the B92X this reminds me a little bit of my own personal firearm that I own um, it's not a B92X but it looks very similar to it uh, I like to keep a suppressor again and a flashlight as well just in case I need it uh, you can also customize your look here so you can change your shirts your pants your gloves your boots um, unfortunately I don't need or I haven't done any of this yet so I'm sure you have to play some of the missions and yeah get certain grade levels in order to unlock them uh, helmet wise I think I'll keep that the same I wear I'm going to put glasses on however I need to change my loadout here I want to have full armor on just so I don't catch around somewhere that I don't want or I don't have armor as well as um I don't need the goggles I need my night vision goggles I don't care about the anti-flash ones I could care less about that um and then this is loadout wise or for tactical stuff here um I'm not a big c2 person that's Paul's department when we play so I'm gonna leave that with him uh, I do want the taser just in case, but I like door wedges just because I like to try to control the environment and not have somebody sneak up behind me, which as we play this mission, you will see that the uh, officers, the AI officers, your teammates are very much improved over the uh, previous versions of the game. Uh, so you guys get a little idea here. There is the shooting range here and... It works similar as you can see my recoil kind of jumps all over the place now if you hold shift it kind of controls your breathing and makes your shots uh, a little more on point there uh you can also do this whoops that's not it you do this you press o and it changes uh your shooting so you can aim this way or that way as well so that's pretty cool nice little addition to the game depending on how fast and how tight of a corridor you it is that you're uh, clearing and then this just kind of goes into a dead end that's more of the shooting range and we got a metal detector here which yeah it's gonna go off uh, and if you come down here there's the evidence locker there's a detective bureau there's an interview room you can't go through here right now you got a SWAT unit locker which is over here and this is basically where you can customize your look which is what we saw earlier there's nothing really different from there to here so this one just more or less focuses on just that area in fact um there is something i want to just change uh where's yeah armor i want to wear let's see I want to wear this one and you can change the way it looks too so i'm going to actually go with this loadout instead where i have multiple uh zip ties on me on me there and then as you continue to go through here this again is the briefing room this is how the uh, single player works similar to multiplayer when you want to select a mission so first mission they give you is called thank you come again and this is one that you guys are familiar with from the past go ahead and select that so as you can tell from the graphics it is uh changed quite a bit there so even though it's a mission we played before it has a new look to it so it's gonna that means it's gonna have a lot more uh going on with it that is not the same as what you might be used to in the past so again this is gonna be something even though i'm i played this level before there's going to be changes in it that i'm gonna have to anticipate so we're uh we're gonna see what uh gets tossed at us here with the uh new update and with this update as well there is a bunch of new maps that they said was included in here obviously i haven't seen them yet because i'm still playing through them but um there are some that i know will be kind of hard for people to want to watch and i will definitely throw up uh, viewer Suspects discretion advice when that area. happens leave the talk Civilians down, but breathing. Notify Tim's. So that way, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, and you're forewarned in the beginning. So I'm going to go around this way here, and I am actually going to lock this door. 
Yep, it's still here. The same door that I've uh, dealt with in the past. Uh, here's our wedges. Put that down. And then I'll kind of let you guys see. If you've watched the team, you'll see that they kind of look around. You see there's a few officers watching our back just to make sure uh, nobody sneaks up behind me and starts shooting me. You definitely need to be careful with these windows because they can see through windows pretty easily. Uh, so far, so down, good. I got somebody up. there. Down on the ground, move! Keep your hands up! LSPD, don't move! Alright, I got one Police, complying. Get down. Hands on your head. Alright, I got two complying. I don't want to enter Police, through this way, though. Up. I hope they got me covered. I'm gonna wedge this door too. All right, so we're gonna move around on the left here. This is usually the way I take, so that way we don't have a lot of glass that exposes us. All right, I got an open door on my right. don't like the way this looks let's make sure we can still close doors yes we can okay whoops all right put the wedge down all right uh that door does not look like you can enter it anymore no you can't okay so can't go that way that's a uh, change to the level already i'm not familiar with Not sure if you can go that way though. We're gonna. Nope. Okay. So it looks like we just have the front door here to the uh, the restaurant area. I don't see anybody else. Is that a per? No, that's not a person. That's a police door open. All right. So here's the door All here. Teams. I'm gonna tell my team to. Oh. Look at that, you can actually have them, uh, you can have them, uh, peek around and look for, uh, for, uh, threats as well. But I'm going to go ahead and have my team, uh, hit this with the C2, C2 clear it with the flashbang and make entry. You're in my way, sir. Oh, okay. They will tell you when you're in their oh way. <laughs> oh, looks like we got somebody on the other side of the door already, uh, yelling at him. Right, let's see here. Charge ready. Deploy an explosive. Ready. <laughs> the team will make entry. As you can Holy see, they're God. really smart with it now. They cross each other. Start clearing the room. Talk to high ground. Threat down. Suspect is down. Requesting temps. Talk to entry team. Copy. EMTs and ready. trailers are standing by. As you see, they start. Still engaging with this guy. I gotta be careful. Alright, I don't wanna walk in front of him. I'm trying not to. Alright, so they down the suspect right now. And then when they arrest uh, individuals, as you can see, they go ahead and cuff them up like that too. You don't have to tell them to do it anymore. They are a little more thoughtful in their uh, planning here. All right, so we're gonna continue to move up here. Element of talk. We lost a civilian. Repeat, civilian killed. Talk to Element. Roger, entry team. Notifying medical. All right, I'm gonna have my team go Movement in here. They're gonna clear. clear with the flashbang. Provide Actually, support. no, 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 no. Never mind. Don't want you to do that just yet. Detain. Ready to hit Put the road. Put your hands up. Put your fucking hands up. Oh, okay. I guess I can't do that. I was trying to uh, lock that up. So actually, I am gonna have a move and clear. Pyatt, 
Oh, on wait, me. wait, wait. No, nope, come back, come back, come back. Uh, what's this door? door? I'll block it. So I'm out of wedges now, so I need my team to do it. So I'm trying to keep a funnel here so we don't, uh, we don't get hit by anybody. Like, we don't get rushed from behind. So it looks like we're okay there. Nope. You guys can go ahead and on me. You. Enter and clear. move and clear. Moving there we go. Gonna have them move and clear. Oh, nobody's gonna be coming out of this door on us. Um, I think they're a little lost. Let's try Move this again. On it. There we go. Yeah, they're usually pretty good about being next Going to each in. other before they start. Oh, when I didn't see them connecting, I was like, oh, gotta tell them again. So they're gonna clear that. I am actually gonna go clear the freezer here. here boss. Nothing. Empty over here. No contacts. Moving into handcuff. I right, got no traps. Cuffed and ready. Entry team to top. Entry team to top. Civilian ready for training. Civilian ready for training. Yeah, as you can see, they're securing uh, individuals right now. If you uh, aim at them like this, they'll go ahead and make the effort to uh, get them taken care of. Good to go. Let's see, I'm covering them. They secured the evidence. I have to do this. Civilian is cuffed and good to go. All right, so, so far, so good. Yep, see, they're already stacked up here on this Provide door. Cover. Well, not stacked up, go. but they're already covering it to make sure uh, nothing happens. But yeah, very impressive with how the AI moves how and how they work. Um, let's go pick ahead it. and pick the lot. Got the lock. They'll sit there and secure a room. They'll try to keep eyes on suspects as they can, as they pass them. But as they start to feel a little more comfortable and it's a little less uh, chaotic, they'll... Uh, We'll start securing people, and go. if you cover them, they'll uh, go ahead and secure them while you're covering. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just open the door clear and clear. It. Got it. I'm gonna go ahead and kill Where my light. There? Keep an eye out. I'll be right. I've had someone slip by me before. Be checking closets too. Make sure nobody's there. All right, they got that door. All right, if you recall, that door was open when I. Uh, when I came around that corner, so I'm not taking this lightly, just in case. Nope. No traps. Yep. Clear in here. Post up and cover. We're gonna stack up on that door. Unlocked. There's somebody crying in there, so let's go ahead and breach it. We'll kick it, kick it and clear it with clear, the flashbang. Again, Reaching. as you can see, the uh, officer is watching our back. <laughs> back here. Opening on the left, opening on the right. I'll get the clutch. They, they call out what they see too. Opening left, yeah, opening right. Nothing. Dropping a light. I got suspect it. ready to go. Everything's gonna be okay. Cuffing up the suspect. Element to talk. Civilian is secure. Civilian is good to go. Comply. Copy that. They'll collect evidence too as they see it, but um, I'm not seeing the evidence with the downed guy here. Uh, yep, not seeing it right now. All right, so this room is secured. These officers are good. I'm gonna go ahead and tell Red Team to. I'll show you guys what you can do here too. You can tell them. Red. You can go to here. You can queue it, and you just tell them to open and clear. Confirm. So they're gonna get ready to open and clear that. I'm gonna go to blue, and I'm gonna say blue. blue. I want you to open Post up and, and clear with the stinger. And then what you do is go. you go to gold team, which is the entire team, and watch what happens here. Go, I'm gonna go, say go. execute. They're opening the door. They're making entry. They're opening the door. Going to Stinger and going to. I got nothing here. This is great. Everybody moves fluidly. They're checking. Let's go. Open the right. Nothing here, sir. Let's stick out. All right, that's one of our officers. Making it safe. Good to go. Got them all. We got this guy down. They're securing guys. Securing evidence right now. Evidence. Making the room safe. 
So very cool. I don't have to tell them to do anything. They all I told them to do was to enter the room. That's it. Move in. So clear the we're gonna room. go ahead and have a move in and clear there. I'm gonna go ahead and mirror this door just to Moving. be on the safe side. On the right. Good here. You're gonna be all right. Right. We got somebody injured there. This is talk. Enter the room and clear. Stylers, enter team to talk. One civilian unresponsive. This is talk. Scan that threshold. All right. Notifying medical. We're clear. Let's go. Keep an eye. We make entry. I had someone slip by me before. We're gonna check that closet. And we're good. No contact. End of mission vote. Copy that. So an officer was Great injured, job. it looks like. That's not good. Moore was injured, from what I saw. Rescue all civilians. Oh, I missed that. Okay. Um. Well, there was a civilian somewhere that I failed to rescue, apparently. That's not good. Civilian was killed. Yeah. Ugh. Let's see. So that's definitely going to have an impact on my officers, knowing that they lost a hostage. Yep, you can see here. Message from Doc. I don't think I need to remind you that when anybody in your team is assigned to counseling, schedule with the EMU, they are not eligible for selection and missions. I'm not saying anything more, but just be careful how you handle these guys because the last thing you want is to be left shorthanded, especially with the city being the way it is right now. So, seeing a few officers here that are their status is ancient or uh, anxious, bleh, I can't talk. Well, basically, they're not content like him. Uh, you definitely don't want to throw them back out there because their mindset is not going to be the same as what it should be. Um, I know there was an officer I can hire in the current slot that I have on my tablet. I'm hoping there's two because the fact that three of them are anxious just doesn't... I, I don't want to send a bunch of officers out in the field there like that. So, let's Alvarez, gotta hold the desk. tablet to get it here. Chief Alvarez, please call desk. Okay, so this person is anxious. We can go ahead. He is a kicker. I don't believe I have another kicker right now. So actually, let's go ahead and whoops. Let's see if I can get rid of it that way. Nope, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to leave that um, alone for now. I'm going to hire a new officer here. Um, oh, what's this? Riot control. Increase the duration of all stuns dealt by you and your team. Ooh, that's definitely something I want. All right, let's go ahead and hire him onto the police department here. There's two missions. Okay, so if I do one more mission, I think that unlocks as well. So uh, we have this officer here who is uh, anxious. We're going to go ahead and get him switched out with riot control. Uh, we have this officer as well who's an armorer, but unfortunately we're going to have to put breachers in here for the veteran and him as well, so that way they have time to... Uh, so yeah, you can send them to therapy, it looks like. You can fire them if you want to. Um, I guess you don't send them to therapy. I, I, if you just leave them alone, maybe they'll be content again. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. I know if it gets down far enough, you have to send them to therapy to try to, uh, try to help them out there. So if I go ahead and click off of him, can I click off? Oh, maybe the exit actually works. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, oh, got our officer here. You can swap him out for another officer. I'm not going to do that for now because these are the officers I am going to use. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video of Ready or Not. While I'm off camera here before the next mission, I'm going to try to... Um, I'm going to try to change some of these guys' loadouts. Uh, I like them, but they could use some tweaking as well. So... That being said, guys, thanks again for watching. Captain I hope you look forward to seeing uh, future videos of Ready or Not single player because they're definitely going to be coming out. But uh, again, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.